at the end of spirituality, manifestation, law of attraction, you will ultimately find that Jesus Christ is the truth. And this is speaking from experience, someone who has read almost every law of attraction book that's out there, every manifestation book, um, and has dived deep into finding out how to use these forces around us in order to manifest things, not knowing what the truth was. So, like I've said in previous videos, law of attraction and all of these things, they work. But the problem with it is, you'll continuously get what you want, but after a while, you're realizing that it's either not enough or it's truly not making you feel the way that you wanted to feel. So you want to know true spiritual power. You turn to Christ. And let me tell you why. When you think about law of attraction, spirituality, manifestation, essentially what it is saying is that you are the creator of your reality. You are the God of your reality. So if we look back in the Bible, in Genesis, this is literally, literally the oldest trick in the book. When the devil in the form of the serpent approached Eve, he said, if you eat this apple, you will be like God. Wake up. If you manifest, if you are into spirituality, you will be your own God. No. As you start to move on this journey and you're looking for the power, you're looking for the things that are going to make you feel good, you're going to ultimately find that Jesus Christ is the truth. And it's that simple. There really is no other way around it. As Jesus Christ is preparing for his death and he's talking to his uh, disciples, when they were asking him, what's going to happen when you go away? He told them he is going to send a helper to help people follow his way, to help people live more like him and to become one with him. He said, I'm going to send the spirit of truth, which is the Holy Spirit. So in the Bible, it speaks of the living God. Well, with manifestation, with spirituality, with all of these things, I've never felt a power that actually lasted. When you actually get to experience the Holy Spirit, this is scripture that is actually taking place today. You're feeling it and you're interacting with it. It's a legitimate power, connection, and love with God, with Jesus Christ that you're experiencing. Something that was written 2,000 years ago is still taking place today when you start to accept the truth. When you start to Except that Jesus Christ is the only way. He is literally God that came down in order to sacrifice himself for your sins. In order that you may be wiped clean of them. And try to live as best as you can. Try not to sin so that you can make it to heaven. And live eternal life with him. So you start to experience the Holy Spirit once you actually genuinely open up your heart. And say, you know what Jesus, I'm ready for you. I'm ready to actually experience you. I'm ready to let you into your, to my life and see what this is all about. And let me tell you, it may take a day. It may take two months. For me, it took two months. It took two months that it actually unfolded in me. It made me no longer interested in the things that I once was interested, which was law of attraction, divination, all of these things that it talks about in the Bible that's actually not right. And it breaks my heart to break it to people who are into this because I was lost in it too, but it's not the way. It's deceitful because if you're not working with God, who are you working with? You can manifest. You can get what you want when you give thanks to God. When you ask God in prayer, he'll give it to you. He'll bless you with it. You can visualize your life in the future, but if you keep God first, then you're good. You can manifest. You're good. You'll find the true power. You'll find a power that's constantly living now. Something that was written about years ago is still alive today, and you're going to experience it. It's more power than you've ever experienced in your life. It's more power than any of these meditations, spirituality, law of attraction, Neville Goddard's, Abraham Hicks, any of these people that can give you for a moment to make you feel relieved. But then you know deep down after that moment has passed, after you watch their video, after you go to their seminar, the feeling's gone. You got to go back to them again. Once you find Christ... That feeling stays with you. That love, that fulfillment is in you. You don't need anything else. But you know what? You know you're going to get blessed by God because you're going to be obedient to him. 
You're going to start doing the things for him out of love because you're genuinely going to feel this love in you. The love he has for you and the love that you have for him. You're going to open up your heart. You're going to realize the love was always there. It's not about a religion. It's not about a church. It's about the truth, which is he was here. There is historical evidence that he was here. They built churches over the place that he ascended and the church where he was built over where he was crucified. So we have historical evidence that, you know, this take has taken place. And even if you're a little doubtful of that, call on his name. Genuinely open your heart and call on his name and watch what you're going to experience. You're going to experience true power that you've never experienced before. All the other things that you've experienced, it's deceitful power. It's still power, but it's deceitful. And that power was never destined to win. Those manifestations never last. But when it comes from God, it's going to last. His power, it's already written that he's won. So join him. You're going to find love. Yes, you're going to repent for your sins. And you're going to be sorry for a couple of days when that Holy Spirit hits you. But guess what? That love, that fulfillment is going to be worth it. And then you're going to make peace with him and try to live a little bit better. The Holy Spirit's going to guide you. It's this thing that takes control of you and turns your conscience up to the max. Like you're not even trying to do good anymore. You just can't help it. You're being guided by God's literal spirit that he's instilling in you. And it has been instilled in you. You just haven't turned it up to the max yet. You just have to open your heart and just call out to his name. What's the worst that is going to happen? If you genuinely want to see Jesus and, and you, if you ask him to reveal himself, he will reveal himself to you. I called out in his name, not knowing what I was doing, only because I needed to heal my chest because I had a chest injury. I didn't know what was going on with me. I called out in his name. I begged. I said, heal me. I accept you. Come down now. Heal me now. And I just kept repeating this. And you know what? After two months, it was like an ongoing process until it finally hit. And I had a vision where I actually saw Jesus Christ in the vision. And I knew it was him. And I knew it wasn't my own thoughts thinking it. I knew he was coming to show himself to me. So this is real. And this is powerful stuff. Yo, this is good things. This is, it's not bad. It's not that you're trying to be ashamed of the things that you've done. Just love God. He's going to love you back. It's simple. Don't be ashamed of your life. Everyone is sinful. The only thing he's asking of you is to just recognize him. It's to just give him the praise. That's it. That's all he wants. He's going to bless you. In the Bible, he blessed people that were obedient to him. They got great things, but they always kept their eye on God first. Every single day, it was always eyes on him first. But he blessed them. They didn't even care about the blessings. They were becoming, they were getting so much sheep, so much, you know, silver coins. You read these passages in the Bible, you're going to see. And once the Holy Spirit tells you, the Bible's going to make sense to you. The way that Neville Goddard explained it, he's trying to tell you that you're the God of your life. You're not. Something created you. If you were the God of your life, go ahead and, and build a mountain. You can't because you're not God of this reality. You can manifest things with another force, but we're not going to talk about that force. And don't be ashamed. You can always come to him. It's never too late. Just love him. Accept him. That's it. So with that being said, this stuff is powerful. You're going to experience it. That's why these videos have been so much more easier for me to make because it's just straight truth. Like It's straight up straight truth. Like I don't got to read a, a manifestation book and amp myself up for how I'm going to reiterate this information that I just learned. Yes, I was deceived. Yes, I thought I knew the truth, but I didn't. Now, when I talk about Christ, when I talk about this new truth, it's so easy. It just comes out of me. And that's how you know it's the truth. You don't got to think about it. It's instilled in you. I'm telling you. So hopefully this message reaches you. Hopefully it really just, you feel something in you. But never be ashamed. Always come back to him. He's got nothing but love for you. He loves you. He created you. In the Bible, it says he chose you before he created all things. You were chosen by him. He knows you. He's always been with you. He never left you. You may have just, you know, turned up the music and got distracted and didn't hear him knocking at your door, but he's been knocking. Just let him in. Just accept him in. That's it. Don't go. You don't got to go to a church. You don't got to join anything. It's the relationship between you and him. That's it. That's it. Don't go to a church. You don't need to go. You don't need to join any community, any nothing. Because the power that he's going to instill in you, dog, it's crazy. It's great. I'm telling you. So that's it for this video. Just wanted to shoot this reminder out to you or just this cup of faith out to you just to let you know, yo, things are good on this side. I'm telling you. 
not trying to ask you to come to no church, no donations or nothing. I'm trying to give you peace. I'm trying to give you everlasting life through him. Trying to give you peace now through him. Let all the anxieties and depressions wash away. All the voids that you're trying to fill with money, sex, all these things that you keep chasing. And as you're chasing them, you're noticing, you know, I'm not really fulfilled. He's going to fulfill that for you. Isn't that what we all want? Isn't that what we all want to feel fulfilled? He's going to fulfill that. And you could still get blessed. You'll still get the things that you want in his time. So that's it. Hopefully it reaches you. Cup of faith. I'm out. God bless.